What's up, YouTube? See if I can get my camera stable. All right, and welcome to our 5D's tin opening. We have here our Jack Atlas tin with two Ancient Prophecy, one Crimson Crisis, one Raging Battle, one Crossroads of Chaos, and a pack of sleeves. And obviously, our secret rare variant card. Can't remember, but I believe it's the Ancient Prophecy, our first edition. And we will also have, today, our bonus, five, uh, Storm of Ragnarok, yeah, Storm of Ragnarok, first edition blister pack here. Looks huge on this camera angle. <laughs> um, but yeah, we got that sent to us with some of our mail. It was a freebie throw in, so we'll open that as well. But without further ado, let's get right into it. I don't think I've ever opened a Jack Atlas tin, and I'm not sh sure, but I believe it might be something like um, the Ancient Prophecy first editions. Might might have only come in tins. I'm not sure about that. God damn, why do I suck? Um, yeah, like the. Duelist Genesis and Crossroads of Chaos, which only came in tins. I'm not sure about that, but that may be the case. Packaging in a good condition. These are almost 10 years old now, so yeah. People badmouth 5Ds sometimes, but. I really liked some of those new aspects that it introduced with Synchro and all that, um, but still kept it pretty simple, uh, pretty close to the uh, uh, original. <clears throat> Unlike now, just blowing things up with Link summoning and Pendulum summoning. Pendulum, I blame that. Xyz was fine. Um, but anyways, that's just my personal opinion. Okay, so without further ado, Oh, let's get cracking. Yeah, and it is awesome. It is the Ancient Prophecy. That's the first edition. We have our X Saber Gotums. That's cool there. It's not really worth much, but a small sleever. Um, yeah, awesome. So what we have. Uh, two Ancient Prophecy, first edition. Throw those in the back. Raging Battle, Crimson Crisis, and Crossroads of Chaos. Awesome. Open them like that. And, I believe, yeah, awesome. The 5D's sleeves. Purple sleeves. With the silver fronts. Yeah, I love these. Awesome. Those are great. <clears throat> Hopefully I can keep, keep them clean. A bad habit of... What the, the heck is this? What's it for, though? Sorry. Five Ds. And then these things go in like this. But what's this for? This is awesome. It's obviously for like separating something. Card separator maybe? What's the, what's the point of this? I'm not sure the point of this. Oh, that's the um, the deck partitions. Cool, awesome. Just keep it there like that. Stand it up. <laughs> Anyways. 
All right, let's move that stuff over to the side. If we pull any hollows, maybe we can uh, use those sleeves. Okay. <clears throat> First, I'm not sure. I've opened so many of these. Yeah. Should I? I'm gonna do them before ancient. Pro do them before ancient prophecy, but after all these guys. All right. <clears throat> Excuse me. Crimson crisis. I love how all these have ghost rares in them too. Secret rares. So. Just awesome packs. Let's keep cracking. Let's see if we can rev it up. Alright. We have a, a, a Verdant Sanctuary. Morphtronic Borden. Ivy Shackles. And our Spirit Force. I'm pretty sure I've gotten quite a few of those probably like fifth one everybody knows well, act, and that looks like super super saiyan vegeta on it activate only during during damage damage calculation of your bonus turn you take no damp you take no battle damage from that battle then you can add one warrior type to your monster for 1500 less defense from your grave to your hand we have a psychic tuning as well Duke Tra. raptor wing strike Sub submarine frog and a psychic sword. Sorry, I don't know why that felt big. Never know when you have those. Can't remember when they started doing a rare and a hollow. <clears throat> All right, raging battle. Can we start it off with a hollow though? So that's pretty awesome for a ten. We'll take it. Can we continue? Automatic laser. Lava Dragon. Urgent Synthesis. Oh, no way. A secret rare. Are you kidding me? That's awesome. Chaos End Master. I don't even think I've ever seen this card. <laughs> That's just awesome tin already. This is crazy. Chaos End Master. Pretty cool. This card destroys an opponent's monster by battle. Since it's to the graveyard, you can special summon one level five or higher monster with sixteen or sixteen hundred or less attack from your deck. It's pretty garbage. I'm not sure. Who knows? It might be useful one day. Probably not. Or trying to scope him. That's just awesome though. I can't believe we got a secret rare. Guess we will have to use these sleeves. Awesome, possible. Awesome. We will take that to Chaos and Master. Secret Ray from Raging Battle. Yeah, definitely didn't open much of Raging Battle when I was um, when I was first playing. <clears throat> I mostly came in at the end of at the end of which one call it? And of and a five Ds. So yeah, Ryan Storm of Ragnarok is when I first came in, actually. But since we're just on a, such a nice roll so far here, let's go ahead with the crossbow of the chaos. Let's see if we can't continue to speak. We certainly have revved it up so far. Coffee plant. Lineage of destruction. Ever living underworld cannon. Pursuit chaser. Ah, uh, we broke our streak. Polynosis. I don't know if that. 
Yeah, it looked like it had a bend in it. So I got excited. Just the bendy rare. Nice. Uh, forget this guy. Upstart Goblin. Nice pick of him. Giant Drop Pole. Electronic cell phone. No driver attendance. <clears throat> going over the 15 minute mark for any of my videos but I'm gonna get into the first edition stuff so we have our two ancient prophecies left and our stone of Ragnarok <clears throat> story about little story about stone of Ragnarok for me when I first started, like I said, it was around the time Stone of Ragnarok first came out, and uh, a friend of mine got blister packs from um, his work. And out of two of them, Star Strike Boss and Storm of Ragnarok, I pulled a Ghost Odin, my first Synchro pulled, and my first Ghost pulled, and my first Ultimate pull, um, Supreme Arknight Magician. So that was pretty awesome. So, without further ado, and some of the stuff's gone up in price in this too. Shen Squire. Oh, shucks, we have a. I already saw it. Wow. Godram. Oh, it's hard to. This is so slippery, it's hard to not. Mim. Mimmer? And. A car Karakuri Steel Shogun MDL 00X Bredo. Nice. First edition Bredo. I can't remember. I'm pretty sure I have like four of these. Maybe this might be five now. I can't, I can't believe that though. That's out of one pack that this guy just gave me for free. Yeah, this was just a throw in from a Star Strike Blast. I want to say booster box. One of the booster boxes that, that I got. I can't believe that. We pulled an ultra rare. That's amazing. Okay. Wow. <laughs> this is crazy. Wow. This is another awesome opening. This is why I do it. Because I had some awesome luck. Some nice pulls. Like in the past, I pulled Trish. I pulled Rescue Rabbit, I believe. I think I pulled I pulled a card card D. Didn't trade it when I should have. But yeah, no, I just I don't want to jinx anything, but it's just I love opening because of these crazy pulls. Awesome. So we have a spirit burner. Sunlight unicorn. And this is another set where I pulled um one of my first pack I pulled uh Ghost. Damage translation. Dark Sea Float and a Fortune Lady. Fire. Sword of Sparkle, Iron Core Cluster, a major upset. Alright, down to the last pack. Can you give it to us? Can we rev it up with you say and what's her name? Uh Ancient Fairy. The girl who has ancient fairy. I can't remember because I watched it in <laughs> in, Jap in Japanese as well. Anyways, advanced draw. We have a black wing fan of the steel chain. Fan the steel chain? <laughs> Emergency assistance and a rekindling. Fortune Lady Light. So no hollow there. We jinxed ourselves at the end. But that was an amazing start. Um, just to recap, we got uh, Burrito Effect. Sorry, Synchro Summon. You can special summon one Karakuri from your deck once per turn. When the, when the battle position of face up Karakuri monster you control is changed, draw one card. <clears throat> I was just so excited, I didn't even read the uh, effects. Chaos and Master. Oh yeah, no, I did, I did read that one. <clears throat> just the burrito I forgot about. Anyways, I hope you all enjoyed. Oh yeah, it's almost good. Yeah, yeah. 
Texan Gotham's. But that is it for our tin opening. We have our hollow hall here. Stay tuned for our next opening. Not sure when it'll be, but we got some awesome ones incoming. Take it easy. Peace. We'll see you later.